welcome this is the energy vibration psychic love reading for the cancer sun moon horizon sign i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back there is a new mystical magical reading that is out go check it out it is the reading for halloween okay so your halloween reading is out go check it out ladies and gentlemen all right this is the energy the psychic energy vibration reading for um the Cancer Sun Moon Horizon sign for the month of November. I want to say to each and every person, thank you for being here. Please like, share these videos, turn on your notification buttons, and I'm so happy you're back, you Cancers. Let's see what's coming up for the Cancers. The soul, the twin flame is coming up for you, Cancers, so that is good. So the Cancers twin flame are coming in. I'm seeing spiritual growth for you cancers with your twin flame. This is good. And I'm seeing it's going to affect the women, business women, mature women, 45 years and older. I'm seeing love coming up between you and your uh, marriage, marriage, the connection of union between you and your twin flame. I am seeing that some of you are going to be marrying to someone overseas. You could be traveling to get married. I see this was destined to happen so this is good cancer so one of the best readings so far so what I'm seeing and what is happening is that a lot of you are going to be connecting with your twin flame you or some of you could be meeting your twin flame overseas so if you're going overseas you might be meeting your twin flame um, it was destined to happen I am seeing the blue eyes, the blue eyes male are coming up. I am seeing um, long distance relationship is coming up for you guys. And I am seeing children. So some of you could have long distance relationship overseas. So for the blue eyes blonde hair men, I'm seeing that you are going to be asking someone who is living far away to get married. Okay, whoever this person is, I'm seeing marriage coming up for you and this person. Some of you are going to be finding your twin flame in another country overseas. Some of you could, um, and you're going to be having um, kids. So that is good. Um, spiritual growth is here with twin flames, and that is good. I'm seeing ladies who are traveling. I'm seeing a destined, you were destined to travel, to interact um and whatever is happening between you and your kids because i'm seeing some issues with long distance and your kids and that is very important that is coming up for you working ladies who travel so whatever is happening between you and your kids and long distance relationship i am seeing that it was destined to happen some of you could be adopting kids also so a lot of people are going to go overseas to get married I'm seeing union. A lot of the, the twin flames are going to be asking their other partner to get married. Okay. So I'm seeing the fair blue eyes men, the Caucasian, are going to be marrying their twin flame or asking to marry their twin flame. I'm seeing spiritual growth coming up. So that's it. Okay. So with twin flame, I got to put my glasses on. So I am seeing twin flame Mars in um Mars in um the Mars in the moon. So I'm seeing twin flame. I'm seeing um you both are fighting to protect each other and keeping together, and that is very, very good, you cancers. So I'm seeing twin flames really fighting to stay together. Whatever is happening, I'm seeing. Twin flames are fighting to stay together. Of Uncle I am seeing Uranus, Uranus in uh, Venus. I'm seeing that some of you who are married, one um, wants to divorce. Some of you who are married wants to divorce. Some of you who are married wants to divorce. If you are married to an Aquarian, you want to get divorced. Okay, because um, it's you know whoever is married to an aquarius wants to get divorced pluto and mercury um fantasy <laughs> okay all right water sign people go back and check out because these readings are free go back and check out the pisces reading 
you blonde men in this month of November is really fantasizing you blonde men in this month of November you're really fantasizing Pluto in Mercury go back and check out because um, the the Pisces got this also so you blonde men blue eyes Caucasians are really really fantasizing you need to get out of your head it is Pluto in Mercury it's just fantasizing about something spiritual growth impulsiveness spiritual growth impulsiveness in love but you're growing spiritually in love and that is very good so you know enjoy the moment because this is good traveling Neptune in Mars um, Neptune in Mars is the unseen secrets and deceptiveness okay so there is secrets and deceptiveness if you are going to be tra marrying someone um outside um there is some deceptiveness so you might have to you know you're traveling to marry this person it was destined to happen but there are secrets and deceptiveness that you're not aware of there are things that you're not aware of okay uh, a sun and moon in the reverse um some of you wanted a new beginning it was destined to be but i am seeing like a block so this is the destiny, and we're going to be seeing what is affecting your destiny okay because i'm seeing the sun and moon in the reverse for you ladies venus in mercury I'm seeing that you need to communicate more whatever is transpiring some of you are sitting there in love with someone you want to know if this person is in love with you you're not communicating that it is in reverse you need to get up ask a person it's just a yes or no Uranus Venus in Jupiter flexibility so some of you are having people who are living long distance from you and you're very flexible okay I am seeing some of you thinking about going to see that person, dreaming to see that person. Some of you are really dreaming to see this person because it is Uranus in Venus and Jupiter. This is a person that makes your heart thunder, and this person is overseas, and you're really dreaming to connect with this person. Children is here, Uranus in Venus, and I'm seeing happiness and joy and um, with you and the kids you or some of you could have been traveling overseas and traveling for a while you're home with the kids um your relationship feels as if it's brand new because you know your partner haven't seen you for a while the kids haven't seen you for a while you could be deciding to have more kids and this is going to be beautiful isn't it so cancers i'm loving this your twin flame and marriage is here so i'm seeing a lot of marriage people they they, they you know our fun click height is that being married alone and and you know you're married but you're having separate worlds i'm seeing a lot of married people um you get cancers marry and having separate worlds so you gotta be aware what I, I don't know ladies and gentlemen so yeah let's take this so okay twin flame some of you could be dealing with um okay so what i'm seeing is that some of you this is in the reverse so this is good some of you has had a situation an issue uh heartbreaks um in the past and i see some of you this could be artworks with a twin flame this could be a taurus or a virgo but it's over it's over um and it could be what they're saying also is that you had artwork in the past but now you're connected with your twin flame which is a taurus or a virgo and you're happy you know that this is your twin flame the heartbreaks is now over you're connecting with either a taurus and a virgo and you feel you know that this is your twin flame and you are happy um in this relationship so you hand your heartbreak because the heartbreak was the past that was mars that was um mars mars in um in the moon and that was past so you're happy moving on unions 
for the unions yes some deceptiveness in there are some deceptiveness in your relationship and it's going to be coming out the sun okay you're going to be finding out some deceptiveness in your relationship it's going to be coming out if you are you have been trying to bounce something out about your marriage and you feel as if you wanted to just be alone whatever that was to inspire is true because uh, um there we see it uh, um lies and deception is coming out so if your partner was cheating on you or there was yeah if your partner was cheating on you it's going to come out so if your wife or husband was cheating on you it's going to be coming out okay and you're going to find balance to deal with this but you're going to let it go because you're going to get out of it so whatever is happening if your partner has been cheating it's going to come out this month yep if your partner was cheating it's gonna come out this month all right so we're looking at the caucasian blue eyes blonde hair and now it's as if you are governed or ruled by the deceptiveness there was some negative influence you are seeing the truth there was some negative influence you're seeing the truth this is now come to an end so it's as if you were caught um by negative forces like negative forces was influencing your relationship and you saw it so you're breaking out of it the the cycle of negative influence affecting your relationship is now over and you're getting out of it okay it's now over and you're getting out of it so um some of you could have um you know find out that there was some negative influence that was affecting your relationship okay so we see spiritual growth is coming up spiritual growth is um you're working some of you are working on your relationship with an aries some of you are communicating more with an Aries and working on your relationship with an Aries. So some of you could be in a marriage or a relationship with an Aries and you're communicating more and trying to work on your relationship. You're growing spiritually is as if you let go of the outside world and is focusing on your relationship. You're communicating more and trying to work um to bring your relationship to a positive balance okay i'm seeing communication at home and you guys are really working on your relationship to bring balance in your relationship okay some of you could be in a relationship with a virgo and i'm seeing this um that you're also communicating with this person you this virgo could come in as a twin flame or is a twin flame and you're communicating with this person travel 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 alrighty wheel of fortune so what I'm seeing with the energy of travel I am seeing that some of you are going to be um, some of you ladies um, you could be receiving um, a message from someone overseas whoever you ladies are ladies 45 years and older you could be reconnecting with an old love overseas so um this person could find you or um you know question ask so uh, where is so and so do you have a number and all of a sudden you're receiving a surprise call from someone from the past this could have been someone you were in a relationship with um and you ladies are going to be mm, now um uh this is unbelievable unexpected but um you could have been thinking of about this person and all of a sudden you receive a call from them okay as we look at long distance relationship some of you are in love with a Taurus, a capricorn and this and you want to communicate with this person but you are you're afraid to do so because whoever this long distance is a long distance relationship uranus um in um uranus and uh, um yep some of you are in love with someone that is in love with a capricorn okay whoever this capricorn is some of you are in love with this capricorn but this capricorn live overseas this capricorn do not live in the same country that you live and you're definitely um 
wants to communicate with this Capricorn but you're afraid to make the first move because you're not aware of how this person is going to react to you um, this person can be very reactive because you could have had something with this person and this person found out that you had lied and deceived them and they actually turned their back and cut you off and now you're realizing that that is where your heart lies but you could be married also and you're trying to work on your relationship but yet still it's as if your heart can't let go of this capricorn now you really want to communicate with this person but you have no um no, you don't know what to say you don't know how they're going to react if you call them you you were like um jesus you know why can't this person just get out of my head or something like that but the problem is that this person is the love of your life and for some of you it could be a twin flame and it's the love of your life and you really want to connect with this person but you dare not do it because of the deceptiveness because this person know you lied to this person that you weren't seeing someone else they found out and I think they realized that I can't be in a relationship with a person like this because this person is all over the place I think you 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 basically I think you basically um, feel bad about what is what has transpired but it is as if it's a lesson learned it is, it is as if it's a lesson learned. So whatever that is transpired and happening between um, you guys, you um, whether you're a man or a woman that is in love with a Capricorn, but this Capricorn is overseas. And you know that this is where your love lies. So I'm seeing that a destiny where a new beginning, some of you want to have a new beginning um, with someone out there but it's not going to happen and you're hoping for this to happen because this is a this is hoping for it to happen and it was destined to happen but it's as if you're afraid to make that that step okay so we're looking at the business women and i am seeing conflicts marriages um conflicts end of marriages so you business you work in women who travels and uh, is married i'm seeing you're ending you're married there's a lot of conflicts there has been so many conflicts and you're deciding to end your marriage married some of you your marriage especially you business women who travel a lot um i'm seeing you you know you have been traveling you have been um there's just so much conflicts between you and your partner and you are deciding really um, to end your marriage. Okay, so yeah, it is. It is a whole lot. Um, this this month of love for you. Um, this month of love is 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 really something. Okay, so marriages are really rocky for some of you. Okay, because there is a lot of conflicts. I am seeing the people who are married to a Leo. You're definitely ending your marriage. If you are married to an Aquarius, you're definitely ending your marriage. Okay. If you're married to a Gemini or another Cancer, there is just so much. You're ending your marriage. Some of you, your marriages are on rocks. Destiny, destiny, destiny 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 all right there's definitely something with your water sign people some of you um this is the energy some of you are in a relationship with a a um a sagittarian person and it's only for the money okay all right so some of you are in a relationship with a Sagittarius person and it's only for the money money there is she she's a she's a Sagittarius and it's only for the money okay and uh, whoever this person is or whoever and you want the new start but you're gonna just find out that this person was just in a relationship it was just for the money they don't want to have a new start and I guess 
in some way it was destined to happen whoever the Sagittarius person is it's just for the money um they don't want a new start they don't want the connection they just want the money okay so whoever this person is and whatever is happening it's only for the money whoever the Sagittarian is it's only for the money I think that the Sagittarian person is going to try to reconnect with you but she doesn't what she's not coming back for love she's coming back for the money so I'm seeing a tower moment if you have kids with um um an Aquarian if you have kids with an Aquarian, I'm seeing a tower moment at the end of this relationship. There is definitely a tower moment. I'm, I'm seeing you breaking down everything. I'm seeing you taking down this old relationship. I'm seeing you ending it. I'm seeing you're going to be protecting the kids. But the, some of you are divorcing and you're going to be protecting the, the kids. You decide to end the relationship. You decide to end this marriage and the tower moment is coming in and what is transpiring is that you know you can't you can't protect and stand up anymore whatever is happening whatever is transpiring you're letting it go you're you know you're not fighting this anymore she wants to go he wants to go you're letting it go okay you are you you have stopped standing your ground a whole lot of you were trying um to keep this person but this person has already make up their mind and let it go because there is no um turning back for this person okay this person could be a leo some of you could be divorcing from a leo some of you it's definitely could be divorcing from a leo i'm seeing the end um of a relationship between you and a leo whatever that was transpiring this leo is definitely saying i am ending this okay this leo is definitely saying i am ending this so whoever this person is because it has to do with children so if you were married to a leo or um that have you're in a relationship with kids i'm seeing a relationship being ended i'm seeing a tower moment is coming down i'm seeing you decide to end everything that is happening and transpire you are going to be protecting your kids and for you cancers that is the only thing that is important it is the kids all right so the central and what you guys whoever um is in a relationship and you think that someone is cheating or you're cheating it's going to be coming out so if you are in a relationship and you think someone is cheating it's gonna come out okay so I'm seeing some of you were praying and hoping um, that it comes out yes it's gonna come out some of you um, were um, dealing with outside influences influencing your relationship this is gonna come to an end so whoever that was um, outside influencing your relationship it's really really going to come to an end ladies and gentlemen I want to say to you thank you for being here I am so grateful. Please like, share these videos, leave your comment. Let me know how this month went. Um, a lot of you um wanted a new start, whatever is transpiring. Um, some of you were destined to have this new start, but I think that some of you are not um being honestly, you know, really telling the person, hey, I made a mistake. I have hurt you. I'm sorry. Um, you know, can we reconsider? Some of you, um, your love is uh, overseas. Um, your heart is, you know, with that person. It's as if you gave that person your heart, but the person is overseas. And whatever is happening is that you're still pining for this person. You're still open for this person. And some of you, you just need to pick up the phone. It's text. You can text. Don't call. Text. Send a message. And uh, if uh, five days there's no message, then you call. Okay. And uh, and and then see it. And then you know choose to move on from that. Whatever the person said, just choose to move on from that. It's beautiful because the people who were heartbroken in the past. 
your twin flames are going to be coming in this this um, month so this is wonderful and this is good so you, positive positive alignment from energies okay so 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 um i want to thank you so much for being here and i love you guys let's um share this moment of love i'm sending you pure light and love i am wishing you every every positive energies of working out whatever issues that you're having in relationship namaste until next time